eight Android settings to turn off now. It's been a couple of years since we last recorded this video and the Android operating system has changed a lot. Let's dive in. We're going to start with install unknown apps. Yep. So let's open up the settings app on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. If it looks different for you in your Android settings app, just tap that search button on the main page of the settings app, type in the things that we're going to talk about in this video. Let's scroll down to biometrics and security, then scroll all the way down and tap on install unknown apps. Do you want apps on your Android to be able to install other apps on your Android without your consent? It's like having a party. The apps you install are the guests that you invite to the party, but you're also saying that they can invite all of their friends to, to your house. Bad stuff can happen. For instance, Chrome, do you want to allow it to download unknown apps? What I would recommend doing is just turning this off for all of your apps. Right. And then if you find yourself in a situation where an app does need to install a different app, come back here, turn on the switch, there you go. So just tap that switch next to allow from the source, that turns it off, and the Android even says installing apps from the source may put your phone and data at risk. All it takes is one bad one. Yep. So definitely turn this off. Anytime you see allow, just tap on an app, turn it off, there you go. Boom. Let's go back to the main page of the Android settings app and tap that back button, lower right hand corner of the screen. One below biometrics and security is privacy. Tap on that and then tap permission manager. Do you want apps to have access to things like your camera, your microphone, your contacts all the time, some of the time you want them to ask, you just want to deny them outright. This is where you set it. So mm. if we tap on camera, for instance, one to look out for here at the top, allow it all the time. These are apps that can literally access your camera whenever they want. Right. You probably don't want them to have that power. Nope. So if we choose Facebook, for instance, do you want Facebook to be able to use your camera app anytime you're using Facebook, or would you rather have them ask every single time? I like ask every time, personally. And if you're concerned about a specific app too, like Facebook is a big one for a lot of people, you can just tap see all Facebook permissions and just set them all here. So it has access to my location and my microphone right now. So if I tap on microphone again all the time, while using the app or ask every time. I like ask every time for microphone. Yep. It's the right thing to do. It really could be recording your conversation could. whenever you're using Facebook. And if we go back to the app permissions page, the next thing we want to take a look at is location. Which apps do you want to have access to your location? How often do you want them to have that access? So allow it all the time. We have four apps right now, Amazon Shopping, Bixby Voice, Facebook, Me. and Google. Do you want these apps to have access to your location? all yeah. the time you're using your Android. I suppose this is a privacy concern, but for me, practical person, more of a battery drainer. Yep. They can use your location all the time. GPS is one of the biggest drainers of a phone's battery, especially if an app isn't using it responsibly. Definitely not all the time. Yep, so if I tap on Facebook again, for example, picking on Facebook today, but you know. They deserve it. It's the right thing to do. Allow it all the time, allow only while using the app, ask every time or deny. Yeah. You know, pick the one that's right for you. We really don't recommend doing allow all the time. Yeah, allow all the time is bye-bye battery. I mean, if you don't want an app to have access to your location ever, you can just tap deny. Sometimes it's a bank app that wants yeah. access to your location all the time. Yeah. David had that problem. I had that issue with Sefq, yeah, there go. They yeah. want uh, your location all the all time. All the time. You don't need it. You don't need it ever, really. No, I know where the bank is. The bank doesn't need to know where I am. Boom. Roasted. Let's tap back to the main privacy page. Again, lower right-hand corner of the screen. And let's take a look at send diagnostic data. This is going to send data from your Android to the Android phone developer. Use a little bit of battery life. Can use cellular data sometimes, too. Yep, and can send personal information about you because it really doesn't go into specifically what data it yep. is sending. Diagnostic data can be things that you've searched for, things that you've watched. Let's just tap that switch turn it right off. Turn it off. And when you turn off that switch, you get this pop-up. They really want you to keep this on. You yeah. gotta tap that check mark, turn that off, and then tap OK, and then the switch will turn off. Yeah. Let Samsung improve their own products. You know, that's Z it. Flip 3 too. That's one that needs a lot of improvement. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's more of the hardware than the, <laughs> the design of it. Everything but needs a little. We asked uh, some people, we had a live stream the other day, and we're like, oh, what do you think about the uh, the new smartphone flip phones? And somebody commented, oh, I had two and they already broke because mm -hmm. of the, uh, the hinge. Design. Yeah. Yep, yep. Next up, tap on Google location history. It's a few below, send diagnostic data. Do you want Google to be saving your location history everywhere you go? I don't really need that enhanced experience with Google Maps. I just... I'd rather have them not know where I am all the time and save the battery life associated with that. Yep, so just tap that big turn off button. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta scroll to get the pause button. Tap that pause button. There you go. Tap got it. You're all set. Let's tap back again. Scroll down. We're gonna tap on usage and diagnostics. Again, another one of these things that sends usage and diagnostics data. Using a little bit of battery life can use a little bit of cellular data. We're just gonna recommend turning that right off. I personally don't feel a sense of responsibility to these developers. I don't either. Yeah. I paid for the phone. 
paid for the phone. A setback. One above usage and diagnostics is ads. Opt out of ads personalizations. You have to turn this on to turn it off. And mm -hmm. we get a lot of comments. So why would I want to opt out of personal ads? Aren't I going to see ads now? Nope, because they can deliver contextual ads. So if you're on an iPhone help website or an Android help website, you'll see, hey, we're iFix Pro or, you know, one of those. Yeah, something that's actually relevant to yeah. what you're looking at, not something that's been spying on you as you've gone from site to site to site to site, and then it's giving you ads for Tahiti when you're on your bank website. Also, if advertisers have less information about you, you become a less valuable advertising target, you may actually see fewer ads. Right. It's amazing to me the pushback we get on this one. Seriously, turn it off, live with it for a little bit. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Let's turn that switch on, tap OK. Next up, another big one, data usage access for a specific app. Let's tap back to the main page of the settings app, scroll down and tap on apps, then tap on those three dots in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This is a really creepy part of the settings app for me. Let's tap special access, and then at the bottom of the screen here, tap usage data access. We've got a big list of apps and they all say allow. So let's tap on one. Allow usage tracking. Allow apps to monitor which other apps you use and how often and identify your service provider language settings and other usage data. Yeah, which apps I use and how often and sending it everywhere, no thanks. So turn yeah. that off. It's creepy. Go through this list of your apps and figure out which ones you want to allow. I think for almost all of them, it's gonna be deny. Why would you want to allow any of these? To do it's that? a lot of tracking. Yeah. It's a ton of tracking. Everybody's tracking each other. It's kind of like a neighborhood watch for yeah. the apps, but it's really not necessary. Your neighborhood watch and they're all watching you. Next, let's go back to the main apps page in settings. We've been kind of mean to Facebook in this video, but I think we should just double down. Let's keep picking on them. It's the right thing to do. So when you're in settings apps on your Android, click on any app, tap on any app. We'll choose Facebook for instance. Me. Good choice. Then tap mobile data. Do you want Facebook in this case to be able to use data in the background of your Android all the time? Definitely not because who knows what they're doing with that and it could be downloading pictures. I'm happy to. Facebook is already a big data user. Yeah. It's kind of a hog. I don't trust them. Yeah, some apps you're no. gonna want it, you know, music apps, yep. messaging apps, you might want this on, but. Yeah, Apple okay. Music, if you had that, for instance. Yeah, Spotify. Spotify, Pandora. You wanna be able to close the app, you wanna keep hearing the music, yep. leave this on. Also allow data usage while data saver is on. When you turn off allow background data usage, it'll turn them both off for you. Yep. Those are eight Android settings you should turn off now. Thanks for watching this video. We really value all of the members that join our channel. They help us out tremendously to make videos like these. What else can we say? Yeah, click that join button below this video. Become a member. It's the right thing to do. Thanks for watching.